Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. This prophetic word excerpt comes from Krista Elisha, Oxford, Ohio. 222 Dream. Flying to Colorado Springs for Lou Engel's 222 conference, I fell asleep on the plane praying and I had a dream. In the dream, I was looking down at the U.S. I watched a scroll unroll over the nation from east to west. Written on this scroll was the book of Acts, chapter 2. The Lord showed me a great number of believers rallied together to stand in one accord at their state capitals. All of the sudden, a great wind accompanied by massive pillars of fire, they, they came down, consumed each state house one by one. As this took place, I watched as the gospel went out and thousands were swept into the kingdom in each state. I looked again. I saw the ground begin to tremble across the nation. Then I heard a voice say, Air strike one. Complete. The sun fell and rose again, signifying another day. I looked down again at the nation and saw 50 pillars of fire encircling Washington, D.C. Like, like they were witnesses. When I looked at the pillars in the Spirit, I saw they were represented by 50 historical revivals that marked our nation, 50 years of national history, 50 years of national prayer. I watched as a finger came and wrote in the blood of Jesus, the words, many, many, tekel, parson. On the wall of the White House, this was written. I watched as believers began to follow the pillars of fire in D.C. As they gathered again in one accord, I looked again, and, and another scroll was unrolled over the nation from east to west. This time, it was inscribed with Acts chapter 4, 24. When the believers heard their report, they raised their voices in unity and prayed. Lord Yahweh, you are the Lord of all. You created the universe, the earth, the sky, the sea, and everything that is in them. You spoke by the Holy Spirit through your servant David. Our forefather, he said, How dare the nations plan a rebellion, ranting and raging against the Lord Most High. Their foolish plots are futile. Look how the kings of the earth take their stand. Rulers scheming and conspiring together against God and his anointed Messiah. In fact, Herod and Pontius Pilate, along with the Jews, the non-Jews, they met together to take a stand against your holy servant, Jesus the Messiah. They did to him all that your purpose and will had determined, and according to the destiny you had marked out for him. So now, Lord, listen to their threats to harm us. Empower us as your servants to speak the word of God freely and courageously. Stretch out your hand of power through us to heal and to move in signs and wonders by the name of your holy son, Jesus. As they prayed this, the earth shook beneath them, causing the building they were in to tremble. Each one of them was filled with the Holy Spirit. They proclaimed the word of God with unrestrained boldness. Looking again, I heard the sound of a million mothers in travail. The weeping and moaning turned into the sound of roaring, a roaring train engine. It was the sound of both ruin and revival, with the, the clack clacking of millions of prison doors unlatching, accompanied by thunders and lightnings. I watched revival break out like righteous riots in cities to redeem what the enemy did in 2020. Again, the ground began to shake, but this time it was a violent shaking that brought down a double-edged sword to crack open the ground. I watched as corruption, like monuments and buildings, began to collapse. I then saw the word Jubilee form in giant gold letters coast to coast, and another scroll inscribed with Isaiah 61 unrolled over the nation. Then the Spirit of the Lord came to me, saying, This isn't just another prayer gathering. This is a national revival. This is not just another prayer gathering. It's a national Pentecost. I then saw two clouds, one from the east and one from the west, converge and cover the whole country. Dirty faces, men wearing drag makeup, looked to heaven as rain came and washed them clean. I then saw the Lord place a double corona rainbow in the sky like glowing engagement. It was a glowing engagement ring extended to all who would say yes to the proposal of the bridegroom king, Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord came to me once more, saying, My promise for you will stand from generation to generation, America, instead of shame and dishonor. You will enjoy a double share of honor. 
you will possess a double portion of prosperity in your land. Everlasting joy will be yours, for I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. I will faithfully reward my people for their suffering, for I have made an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants will be recognized and honored among the nations. Everyone will realize that they are a people the Lord has blessed. Then the Lord told me, told me to tell the people that 2024 is the year of Acts 2 and 4 to open the prison doors. Heavenly Father, Lord, we declare that you are doing a mighty work. Lord Jesus, bring down the national revival. Bring down a national Pentecost. I thank you, Father, that you are willing and able to do a mighty work in our country. And Lord, I know that wherever there is a believer standing on your promises, Father, that you will reach them. That, Lord Jesus, the overflow to what you have promised your remnant will touch, Father, the nations of the earth, the unbelievers, Father, that they will be brought back into your kingdom, Father, that they will turn from their wicked ways. I thank you, Father, for this beautiful dream. And, Lord, I just pray, Father, right now in your name, aligning my heart with our sister Krista, with my friend, Father, we are declaring, Lord, that may this word be true, Father, on earth as it is in heaven. Lord Jesus, do the thing. Holy Spirit, have your way. Thank you, thank you, thank you that we get to play a part. In your mighty name we declare, amen.